Hello, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video I'm about to show you is a replay of a live Qigong class which I taught this morning via Zoom. I'll be teaching these classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays every week for the duration of COVID-19 and until I can get back into my face-to-face -face acupuncture and Chinese medicine clinics. This video is suitable for those of you who are beginners and also anyone who might have a little bit more advanced Qigong training. I hope you enjoy it and if you'd like to join me for the live classes then please click the link which is next to this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube then so you don't miss future videos that I upload here just hit the red subscribe button. Okay so you're very welcome to the class today everyone and what we're going to do today is we're going to have a little bit of fun with Qigong and we're going to perform an exercise which is called rubbing ball um, and those of you who are members of my space to relax online program will find that i think it's about lesson 30 so if you've just joined you'll have to wait a little while um, but this is an overview of it this is a very basic version of it so it's playing with a ball of chi and it's an exercise that i love to teach to children they think it's really good fun and it has some really helpful benefits as well. So the main thing that it does in terms of medically, what it does is it's what it's what calls it's what called it dredges the channels of chi flow, especially the ones in the arms. So if you think of the word dredging, if you're if you think of dredging a river or dredging a stream, what you're doing is you're going in there and you're getting rid of usually with machinery and you're getting rid of all the silt and all the debris in the river. So when you practice this exercise, you're getting rid of the debris, of the waste chi. So it's another way of kind of cleaning the channels of chi flow in the arms, into the hands, through the shoulders as well. But it's also, it also has the benefit of being really calming and relaxing for your mind. And the other thing it does is it improves your powers of observation. So remember, often when, when I'm speaking and I'm teaching Qigong, I often ask you at the end of a class or at the end of a, an exercise to just take a few breaths with your eyes closed and observe what's happening in different parts of your body and to observe how you feel also mentally and emotionally. So this exercise really allows you to just observe for the whole time, all the way through. So what I would encourage you to do is to be really relaxed with it. Just don't be trying to make anything happen. Just play with it. Be very playful in your approach today is what I would say. So we need to do a little bit of preparation before we move on to this particular exercise. And what we're going to start with first is some abdominal breathing, as usual. And so you can be standing or sitting for the whole of this session. It is your choice. Okay. So just find yourself a comfortable standing or sitting position. And as most of you have been with me before, you know those positions by now. If you haven't gone through that with me, if you, have, if you don't know the correct standing posture, that's in lesson one of the live replays. Um, and the sitting position, I think, is lesson two or three. So you can go back and have a look over, the, over those. They're on my blog page on the website. So just closing your eyes, close your mouth, and just allow the tongue to rest on the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue resting against the back of the upper teeth. I did have a question about this, somebody emailed me about this and said that that was a, not a natural kind of position for them. It made them feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable as though they were holding tension in the jaw. So if it's not comfortable for you to rest your tongue against the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue against the back of the upper teeth, then find a position that is comfortable for your jaw. Be very mindful not to hold any tension in your jaw. We often do. And what you might want to do is just to open the mouth a little and just wiggle the jaw from side to side, just to check that you're not tensing those muscles and then close the mouth again. The main thing with the mouth position is that the mouth is closed and that you're breathing in and out through the nose. So with the eyes closed, the mouth closed, as you breathe in, feel the belly expand, like blowing up a balloon, 
And as you breathe out, feel the belly shrinking back towards the sky. Just settling into your practice, feeling the contact of your feet with the ground. And if you're sitting, feeling the contact of your sit bones with the chair. Bringing the breath into Dantian, into the lower belly area as you breathe in. And then in your mind's eye, see that area shrinking as you breathe out. Consciously letting the breath go as you breathe out through the nostrils. And now just gently open your eyes so that you can see me. And we're going to begin with a few neck, shoulder and arm opening exercises before we perform the rubbing ball. So just sitting and having your shoulders nice and relaxed. So just make sure that they're way, way, way away from your ears. And with a smile on your face, take a breath in and breathe out. Let the chin drop down towards the chest. Breathing in back to the center and just be mindful if you have any neck or shoulder problems, don't go too far with this. Breathe out, let the head drop back very slightly. Feel the stretch down the center of the throat. Breathe into the center, feeling really tall, feeling the length in the back of the neck. Breathe in, breathe out and just tilt the head to one side. Try not to allow the head to drop forward. Breathe into the center. Breathing out, tilt to the other side, feeling the stretch down the opposite side. Breathe into the center. And now turning the head, keeping the chin parallel with the ground as you breathe out. Breathe into the center. And breathe out to the other side, turning. and breathe into the center. Now breathe in, put your shoulders up. Roll them forwards and down as you breathe out. And then breathe in with broadness across the chest, lifting the shoulders and rolling forwards, breathing out, dropping the shoulders down. One more time, breathe in. And breathing out, roll the shoulders forwards. Now change the direction. Breathing in, lift the shoulders up and forwards, and then breathe out, back and down. Feel the shoulder blades coming together. Breathing in, lifting, and breathing out, circling down. Breathing in, lifting up, and breathing out, circling down. And then just kind of move the shoulders up and down. Just give a little wiggle to the upper back. Do that, okay. And now what I'd like you to do is, and we've done this before in a previous class for the, uh, when we were doing the exercises for the neck, shoulders, elbows, and hands. So I think that's lesson 12 of the live replays if you want to have a look for that. But just bring the arms up to shoulder level. And then make a fist with the thumb on the outside. And then open the hands, close, open, close, open, close. And now speed it up. Just breathing normally into your belly. Go as fast as you can. So bringing lots of chi, bringing lots of warmth into the hands, all the way down the arms. Keep going if you can, fast as you can. And you should be really feeling it in your forearms by now. Keep going, smile, don't forget to smile. Keep going, a bit, bit longer, a bit longer. And breathe out and relax the arms back down by your sides. And just close your eyes for a moment now with the hands dangling down by your sides, feeling into the arms from the shoulders at the top, feeling that lovely openness in the back of the neck, and then all the way down through the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, into the hands, 
and into each of the fingers and the two thumbs. So observing what you notice. And now gently opening your eyes. And just bringing the hands together, one on top of the other, just in front of the lower belly. And we're just going to work with a few circles, which again you've done before. This is in a previous lesson, um, I think it's lesson two or three, the live replays on my blog page. So just breathing normally into your belly, slowly separate the hands, palms facing upwards. So moving the chi in the four directions, so moving the chi out. Now keeping the shoulders down, lifting the chi up. When the hands reach shoulder level, begin to gather the chi in by bringing the hands towards each other. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed and smile. And then make an upside down V in front of your forehead. And then bring the elbows together so that the palms are facing each other. And then drawing the chi down towards the lower abdomen and down to here. So that's one circle. And follow along with me for two more. You might want to close your eyes if you're happy with this movement. Really observe what you're feeling as you make these circles with your arms. Make this movement as smooth and relaxed as you can with as little muscular effort as possible. Almost as though the hands and the arms are moving themselves. One more circle. Don't forget to breathe. And bring the T down towards Dantian. Now, when you reach Dantian this time, I'd like you to just hold your hand in front of the belly, a few inches apart. Just close your eyes for a moment. And focus very gently on your hands. So, in Qigong, our focus is always very light. Very easy, no laser beam concentration, otherwise you'll give yourself a headache. So just pay light attention to your hands. Breathing into your belly, smiling. And now gently opening the eyes. You may want to just look down at your hands and just begin now to move them a little bit apart from each other, very gently, and then move them towards each other. Apart and towards each other. And as you do this, Keep the wrists very soft. Keep the fingers very relaxed. Ideally, there should be just a gentle kind of cupping in the hands. Just gently curled. Fingers just gently curled inwards. And just observe any sensations at all in your arms, in your hands. And if you notice anything, where exactly is that sensation? Is it in the palm of the hands, the backs of the hands, fingers or the thumbs? Do you notice any temperature, any heat or coolness? Any tingling? Any heaviness or lightness. And now just bring the hands to rest 
in that starting position a few inches apart. So now let's see if we can do this with the breath. So take a breath in, and as you breathe out, the hands come apart. As you breathe in, the hands come together. Breathing out, hands move apart. Breathing in, hands come together. And just keep going at your own pace for a few more movements in and out. And as you're doing this, practice and play with it. So move the hand a lot further apart. See how far apart they want to go. Really all the way out to the sides. And then bring them back together with the breath. And then maybe move them only a very small distance apart. And bring them back together with the breath. And play with the distance. Find a distance that feels natural and comfortable for you. So be very relaxed with this. Now, just bring the hands to rest in this starting position, two inches apart from each other in front of the lower belly. And I want you to now think of the hands that you usually write with, your dominant hands, whichever one that may be. So this is the hand you're going to move. Your other hand, keep it still. So with your dominant hand, I just want you to very gently Move it forwards in circles. And as you do that, circling the hand forward, pay attention to what you feel on the surface, on the palm of the still hand. The slower you move the hand, the more you notice in the still hand. And then change the direction and circling the hand backwards. So as you can see, I'm not pointing the fingers at my stationary hand. I'm actually pointing the palms together. Palms are facing each other. And now with that moving hand, Maybe close your eyes and write your name and see if you can feel the pattern of your name on the hand that's still in the palm of the hand. The slower you go, the more you'll feel. There is no rush. This definitely works better if your eyes are closed. Don't forget to smile, have fun with it, observe what you notice, observe any sensations. And then just allow the hands to rest, facing each other, a few inches apart. Take a breath in, breathe out, move the hands apart. Breathe in, hands come together. Round, hands move apart. Breathe in, hands coming together. And just a couple more of those. Now, 
just to finish this exercise, allow the hands to be still, facing each other stiff, still in this starting position a few inches apart. And hopefully what you noticed during that exercise was something between the hands. And if you felt something between the hands, like almost like a magnetic attraction, or as though you were kind of trying to pull an elastic band and stretch an elastic band as you were moving the hands, that was your chi that you could feel between the hands. And some of you, if you were looking at what was going in your hands, some of you might have seen it almost like, um, it can almost look like a heat haze that you would see on, if you see planes taking off in an airport on the, on the surface of the tarmac when it gets really hot. It almost can look like that. So different people have different visual signs of their chi, but if you don't see anything, it doesn't matter either. You feel what's going on, that's the most important thing. So if you notice any sensations there, what you got, what you were doing there was playing with the chi ball. You've got a ball of chi between the hands. So it's still there now, as you're just watching me. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to lose it. So you don't want to just walk away and let your hands drop down by your sides and lose this lovely little ball of chi. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back into down here. We're going to reabsorb it. So now think of that ball of chi like a fluffy ball of cotton wool. So it's softened, softened, it's more kind of malleable. You can mold it and move it where you want to move it. So what we're going to do is we're going to push that ball of fluff, that chi ball, into down here. So just bringing one hand in, the other hand on top of it, just moving everything in, almost like you're just gently guiding it into down here. Nice and slowly, closing the eyes, place one hand on top of the other, over down to him. And feel the chi ball being absorbed back into your lower belly. Closing the eyes. And bring your mind to the abdominal breathing. Breathing in. The lower belly expands and the hands pushing away. As you breathe out, feel the belly shrink and the hands sinking back towards the spine. Just a couple more breaths. To consolidate your practice. Now keeping the eyes closed, bring the palms together and rub them until they get really, really hot. And then when they're nice and warm, just place one palm over each eye, fingers facing upwards. Feel the heat from the palms of your hands going into your eyes, out the back of your eyes, the heat nourishing your mind. And then just giving your face a little rub, a little face massage to bring yourself back into the room. And as you do that, slowly open the eyes. And smile, and then just shake your hands out. Just allow everything to be nice and easy. So that's the rubbing ball exercise brief version. So it's a really um, superficial overview, but hopefully even from that very basic version of the rubbing ball, some of you will have felt your own chi being sent out from the palms of your hands and you felt it in between and also in the hands themselves. So as I said, that's a really useful exercise for cleaning the channels of chi flow going down through the arms. And also I hope you found that really relaxing. It's very kind of meditative um, in, its, in, in the way it works. And it's a wonderful exercise to practice outside in nature and just to find a nice place to stand or sit. And you can do that for as long as you want. As long as you're comfortable with it, just really have fun with it. 
and enjoy it and practice you know, moving the arms further apart, moving them closer together, practice different shapes on your hands as well as your name and uh, really just enjoy that lovely practice and I think you know to do that takes some of the seriousness out of Qigong and the worry about whether or not we're getting something right. Just be very easy with it, just breathe and have fun with that. So as always, if you have any questions about that exercise, then please contact me by email. My email is Janice at space to relax.com or you can post a message for me in the Facebook group, which is Space to Relax uh, Free Qigong Group. So you can find me there as well. And as I mentioned to you in the last class, these classes have been free for the last two months. But if you would like to, and by no means feel obliged, but if you would like to donate something, I will put a donation page, a link to that next to this video. And I'm going to be giving half of whatever I collect from donations to our local nurses in the ICU ward here in Kerry. And the other half will go just towards the upkeep of my website. So thank you so much for following along today. I really hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next lesson. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn some more Qigong from me, then you can do three things. The first thing is you can sign up for my free three-part Qigong video series, which will be delivered to your email over the course of around a week. And you'll find the link to sign up for that on my homepage on my website, which is spacetorelax.com. The second thing you can do is sign up and join me for the Zoom live classes, which are on Tuesday mornings and Thursday afternoons, and they'll be for the duration of COVID-19. So I'll put the link next to this video somewhere either below or above so you can sign up and join me there. And the third thing you can do if you're watching this video on YouTube is hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. If you did enjoy this video, then please share it with your family and friends. Hopefully they'll join in and uh, have some fun with practicing Qigong too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.